It is Tuesday, December 8th. Many of you have turned things in. That's good. I'm slowly grading it. I'll be truthful. Most of the grading that I do for the, your world history class is in the afternoon, um, but I will get to it. Those of you that still have work to do, make sure you turn it in. You have a project and I it's due tomorrow. So I need to see five of the people that are listed in that project that you've answered those questions that are on that for each of those five people. That's a 25 point. Um, what I would do is I would actually open a document and then put the person and then the information for each of those five, because then if you do that for your two progress reports, uh, or I'm sorry, progress checks, you can easily copy and paste that information however you need to, to complete and create a Google slideshow, okay? Because that's due next week. That's worth 100 points, okay? So you have 150 points. So if your grade's not kind of what it is, you need to make sure you do that. Is Do the best job you can. Now, I've got some of you. I mean, and I actually had two of you ask me, why is your grade so low? Do you not realize, because I've been doing it from the very beginning, I take points off if you do not capitalize the name of a person or the name of a place or a thing that is a proper noun. I also take points off if you don't spell those names correctly or those places, those proper nouns. Why? Because in history, it's all about people, places, and things. And if it's a specific person, place, or thing, then you need to have it capitalized, period. So on your slideshow, I can guarantee you, you have misspelled words, you have things that should be capitalized and they are not, or things that are not proper nouns capitalized when they should not be, I'm taking points off. Come on, you guys are seniors. So anyway, get this work done. If you have any questions, let me know. Need work on that. I do enjoy this videoing. I'm hoping to use this later on when I retire. So here we go, my favorite time of the day. Humor that's funny that at least Miss Haven thinks so. So it's all about the Renaissance. I didn't believe she went to the Renaissance Fair. I just didn't believe she went to the Renaissance Fair. Get ready. Then I saw her mace. Oh, how many of you guys knew that a mace was a weapon like that? All right. So you all have a good day. Keep working. If you have any questions, let me know. My goal for you, since you're all seniors, is if you continually turn things in, you will pass. Peace and love. See you tomorrow.